Last night, we shared a story about a homeless woman and her son dying by suicide near one of Dothan's busiest highways. This tragedy begs for us to focus on the importance of mental health and tell you about resources available. Mental illness affects millions and is so easily swept under the rug. With us today is Mrs. Ebony Cruz from Spectre Care to talk about or talk to us about the symptoms of mental health issues and ways to deal with them if you or someone you know is suffering from a mental illness. Ebony, thank you so much for joining us for News 4 at 6. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. So tell us about some of the resources that is available to the Wiregrass that Spectre Care offers. Well, Spectre Care is a community-based mental health system, and we offer substance abuse treatment services, developmental disability services, as well as mental health resources through out the southeast area. So um, those resources are avail available by contacting us at our 1-800 number and I'll be, be sure to share that before we leave today. Of course. So tell me, you know, what do you want to tell our viewers at home if they themselves are struggling with thoughts of suicide or a loved one is? What do they need to know? Well, first of all, the community needs to know that help is available. Prevention works and suicide prevention efforts are available in our community. Um, first and foremost, individuals need to be able to recognize signs and symptoms related to suicide. Um, so those warning signs, just a few of them um, include um, talking about suicide um, or thoughts about or talking about thoughts of um, death or dying, expressions of hopelessness, um, rapid changes in mood, um, social isolation. For example, if someone who is generally um, social and outgoing starts to, be, to pull away and isolate themselves, um, that may be a red flag. It's, it may not be for everyone, but if it's something that is outside of that person's norm, that's something you wanna pay attention to and be ready to have a conversation about what they may be experiencing. Of course, thank you so much for bringing those signs and symptoms to our attention. It's really all about having that conversation. So how can the Wiregrass area come together to prevent suicide? So community mental health um, and resources are available, like you mentioned. And so it's very important that community organizations participate in educating one another about mental health. Um, Stigma reduction is a vital part of community-based prevention efforts. And so any opportunity that your organization, your neighborhood, your church, um, your civic organization has to provide education, that is key, that is essential. Um, because we know that with education comes understanding with understanding comes acceptance. So anytime that you have an opportunity to bring forth the experts to assist in educating about mental health, we're able to reduce stigma and individuals feel comfortable about seeking the help that they may need. Of course, Ebony, that's our time, but thank you again so Absolutely. much for joining us and for everything you're doing for our area. And of course, like she mentioned, if you or a loved one is struggling, please contact any of the numbers that you were able to see on your screen. You're able to call or text them anytime, any day. Ebony, thank you. Thank you for having me.